What is going on everyone? It's Ryan's here coming at you with another review. And it's another Dodge. But this time it's a 2016 Dodge Charger RT Scat Pack. This one's owned by my brother-in-law, and man, it's a lot of fun. A lot of fun. The heart of this beast is a naturally aspirated 6.4 liter Hemi V8, putting out 485 horsepower and 470 foot-pounds of torque. This big V8 is paired with a ZF 8-speed transmission that's very, very responsive. First and second broke loose. Two forty-five all-season tires all around, which in my opinion are probably way too skinny for this car to put the power to the ground. I mean, they don't really stand a chance. <laughs> I think a lot of people overlook the scat pack since the Hellcat is out, but for a daily driver, 485 horsepower, low $40,000 range, I mean, it's, it's a great buy. It's so smooth, you don't even realize how fast you're going. Dodge claims about 15 miles per gallon city and 25 highway, which seems to be accurate because I'm getting about 17 miles per gallon right now driving around. But 25 highway isn't bad, and that's partly thanks to deactivating four of the cylinders, four out of the eight cylinders. So, you know, technology's come a long way. So what makes a scat pack different from the SRT package? Well, for starters, the suspension is a uh, fixed rate Bilsteins instead of the computer adjustable ones on the SRT. But these Bilsteins ride real smooth on the highway and they're still pretty tight. There's not too much body roll considering it's a 4,400 pound car. Um, another difference is it has four piston Brembos instead of the six piston. Uh, slightly smaller rotors at 14.2 inches compared to the SRT's 15.4 inches. And they have really good pedal feel and they stop the car without any issues at all. The interior of the scat pack is actually a really nice place to be. As you can see, this one's optioned out with the uh, Napa leather and Alcantara seats, red and black. I think it looks very sharp, not cheesy at all. Uh, it has a flat-ish bottom steering wheel with perforated leather. The paddle shifters are made out of magnesium, so it's not a cheap feel. This one also has the optional beat sound system with a subwoofer in the back. I think it's like a five and a half inch subwoofer, but it sounds really good. So overall, I really love the interior. It's spacious, sporty, it's of high quality, and it's also very comfortable. You can fit five large adults easily. It's a humongous car, lots of trunk space. So no problem using this car every single day. The exterior of the scat bag is very aggressive. I especially like this spec, black on black, with 20 inch wheels, it looks very sharp. As the LED headlights, scat pack uh, honeycomb grill and badge in the front, as a matte black spoiler, as the 392 Hemi badge on the side, you can definitely tell this isn't your average charger. When you see this thing on the highway coming up behind you, I think you know to get out of the way because it's just such a menacing front end. The exhaust that comes standard on the scat pack is excellent. I don't I actually don't think I'd even change it. Because listen, right now, nothing. No drone on the highway, nothing gives you a headache. But you put it in sport mode, the valves open up and the thing just screams. Here's an exhaust clip. Enjoy. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
Let's see if it passes the tunnel test. Easily. Good God. Thank you guys for watching this review. I hope you enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun with this one. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll keep coming back with more. See you next time.